Hey guys, and welcome back to my little mini guide for the starting classes of Dark Souls 1. My name is Rob, and today we're going to be talking about the Deprived class. Unclothed Enigma. Only armed with club and old plank shield. And what you see is what you get. It's a naked guy with a plank shield and a club. Starts off at soul level 6, and he's got 11 points in every stat so this is kind of your like I want to build my character from the ground up I want to find all his armor and all his weapons and experiment with a little bit of this and a little bit of that and do a little bit of everything which I wouldn't really recommend that if you try to make a character that's a jack of all trades he will obviously be a master of none uh, it's, you'll end up with a character that, you know, can do everything, but it can't do anything all that well, or as well as a character that is specialized for a particular thing. But with 11 points in every stat, I mean, you've got one attunement slot, one more point will get you two, uh, 11 strength and dex, you know, you can uh, equip the long sword with that if you happen to find one, or a short sword. Um, if you put a few points into dex, or a few points into strength, like you can uh, start wielding almost anything you find in the early game. 11 resistance is, you know, whatever. Uh, intelligence at 11, if you want to, you can do the run down to New Londo and buy yourself a soul arrow along with a catalyst to cast it. If you would rather, you can put one point into faith and buy the uh, heal miracle from Petrus. <clears throat> That's entirely up to you. Uh, there's not much else to go over. I'm going to start a game here and just briefly go over the stats of the club and shield. Alright, so... Picked up the club and the plank shield. The club... 87 base damage, uh, plus 8 from our stats. With the scaling, it's 8 scaling and strength, so does not scale from dex at all. You can raise your dex up to 900 million, and it will not affect the attack power of a club. Um, you got your plank shield, which is not the worst shield, but probably the second worst of the starting classes. 75% physical damage reduction, only 20 fire damage reduction, uh, 45 stability, uh, usually for magic and lightning damage reduction I don't care too much about for the early game because you're not going to be fighting too many enemies that do that type of damage. Uh, it does only weigh 1.5 units, but you can definitely do better with just about any other shield other than the cracked round shield. Now for the club, eh, you know, club's fine. Uh, you can do a little better. Uh, I think the mace has more attack power. Uh, you can buy uh, some other weapons early on in the game from the undead merchant that will be better like the reinforced club even though it has less du uh, durability and lower scaling it just has much better um, base damage than the regular club uh, the plank shield you can parry with it just regular old standard parries there's, there's not a whole lot to say about the deprived I mean what you see is what you get it's a naked guy with a stick if you want the added challenge of playing a character that doesn't have any armor, I mean, obviously you'll take more damage without having any type of armor on. You do fast roll by default, so I mean, at least you got some mobility. Now, like I said, the club is not a terrible weapon. You'll probably want to find some armor pretty early on if you want to... Like, if you just want to add to the challenge of playing through Dark Souls and maybe only use armor that's dropped by certain enemies, yeah, you can totally do that. There's some people who enjoy playing these games like that. There's um, some folks who, with each Souls game, that's all they ever play is a deprived because they want to start with a completely blank slate. Like I said, try to avoid just dumping, you know, try, trying to level up every single stat uh, equally because you won't end up with a very strong character by the end of the game. It'll it'll put you at a disadvantage to try and have 
like a little bit of everything. So if you want to start as a deprived, just kind of pick what direction you want to go in and stick with it. Whether it's strength or whether it's dex or whether you want to pick up a magic stick and shoot laser beams, whatever you want to do. Let's see how this damage does on Asylum Demon. And one thing I'll say, if you simply press R2 when you're two-handing this thing, you'll do a jumping attack. Not bad at all. That was over half of his entire life bar. So let's just spank his ass with the stick the rest of the way. Spank his butt into submission. All right, he's going to do that. We'll do our finishing attack on his panis. There we go. Yeah. And if you start as this character and you find you're having difficulty getting like um, armor early on, when you get to the undead merchant in the undead burg, he does sell the chain set. So if you want to shell out the souls to have at least something to put on, you can do that. <clears throat> so my advice for leveling up with the deprived I mean if you've been watching the rest of this little uh, beginner's guide series for the starting classes you've seen a lot of different options you have with the different starting classes so you can basically just pick any one of those things with the deprived and just go with it you know you can do whatever you want with it one thing I want to point out is the fact that he has 11 points in everything. If you are using this character to make, like if you plan on making a PvP build and you want to min-max your stats and stuff, this is not a good character at all for that because you will end up with wasted stats if you're trying to get to a certain soul level for like PvP at a certain place or whatever. If you're not worried about it, then, you know, who cares? You, you can be whatever level with whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm assuming, you know, if you've been watching these character guides, you're not... I mean, this is not focused on PvP whatsoever. This is all about the, PvP, the PvE and more targeted towards people who haven't played Dark Souls before, maybe haven't uh, played it very much. Or, I mean, maybe maybe you have and you just want to see if you'll learn something new. Maybe I told you just something you didn't know. Maybe not. Maybe you already know everything. Maybe you're Albert Einstein and you have a brain the size of a beach ball. In which case, I feel sorry for you because that is probably really uncomfortable. And on top of that, it's probably really difficult to buy hats. Find one that fits. What do you think, Petrus? I'm just pop you. You deserve it. You're an asshole. <laughs> but yeah. That's that's my advice for playing as a deprived. Start the game. Have fun. And that will conclude my uh, little mini guides for the starting classes. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope it was entertaining for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you soon with... Who knows? Something else, maybe. Until then, go find you a stick and shake it. Just shake it. Shake that stick. Yeah. Shake it.